first thing we'll do is turn off the petrol and then remove the horn. I right, just need to get out of the way so we can get to the choke. That's what we're doing today. Replacing the choke because if you don't stay out, it doesn't go all the way in. So we're just going to chuck that washer on the floor and nearly lose it. This can just come down out of the way. And slip it. We need to undo the nut behind the choke. Size. There it is. That's the right size. Oh, there's a washer for the one there. Right, that's suddenly cracked off. If you get a bit of string, attach this to the old choke. When we pull it through the other side, we can just attach the string to the new choke. And pull it back through the same way it came out. That's all we need to do around it. Let's go around the other side. Okay, let's get the air filter off. This hole here, remove this little cover, which can give me access to the three bolts at the back that hold this onto the carburetor. That there, round of the carb. I can't really tell if that's focusing or not, but 
that there is your air mixture screw. So the problem with this one, this bike, is it's running rich. I'm blacking up those spark plugs which are practically brand new. So I need to adjust that. new track to, to drag it back through the same way again out. Drag. And finally the best thing you can do just be real patient with everything. Oh, 
But I'm going to go around the other side for that wrench. So there we go. Here's a new choke. See on the camera, let me just get in a little bit closer. This has like this jaggedy looking washer there, and this nut. So I'm just loosening off that nut, and the washer goes with the nut. Okay, put that bracket. So, this is just like a plastic nut, so I'm just going to tie it by hand, and then get the Spaniard. That's actually really fucking snug. Look at that. Just holds it perfect. I actually need to loosen it off a little. A bit too snug. That's just with my hand. I don't need to do any adjustments like that really. I'd say that's good. I disconnected my spark. Plugs earlier because checking how black they were. Let's reattach the horn from the back of the bracket. Just got a washer that sits there, put those on the screw, yeah. and then the other little washer goes on this side, like so. Bring this little nut nipple. <laughs>
So what I've done here is I add a little bit of a job fucking around getting these in. These three hold the air filter in place. So what I've done is I've just driven them lightly by hand into their holes through the gasket. Tighten these up, I'll take them off, put the air filter on, put them back in, and then it should hopefully all, hopefully, pardon me, in one place. As you can see, I don't have the right tool to do these up, so I'm just working with what I got. Which at this point in time, it's a flathead screwdriver and some patience. Just some reassemblage. struggle bus together as a team. So I'm going to take the air filter of those three holes, put the screws through the three holes on this jobby, and screw through the air filter, put it through that. We're going to try and line up with this. I'll get carried away. Let's see if we can get the other two in. Crazy. I'm just gonna reattach my hoses to those bits there. Well placed thumb. That's on there snug. Down under here. That's on there snug. Same for this side. screws are in there, shouldn't get the last one in. My hands are looking like a fine shade of oil. Do these guys back up. Now, I'm not leaning on this. I don't know if you're supposed to, I don't know what the torque setting is. I'm literally just using the little end of the Allen key, finger and thumb, until it sits. Today has been, it's been a day, so we'll have to go on there. Today has been a learning experience. Solid. So. <laughs> in upside down. <laughs>